out for the shock, it's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Angel here with Scarrack Truther. Welcome back to another video. Folks, today we're going to be talking about UFOs and potentially aliens that may exist right now in this point in time. Now, in this specific video, I won't be discussing anything about Flat Earth or giving my own opinion on it. I'm only going to be discussing about UFOs and NASA. Now, we do know that there's evidence of aliens or so-called UFOs, unidentified flying objects, right, that suppose are coming from space. There is evidence. I mean, we have other YouTubers doing a great work on exposing these and showing footage of UFO subscribers. Um, doc there's documents of it. I mean, there's just a lot of other evidence that is pretty much out there that you can do your research on. But folks, today I want to talk about what NASA really is trying to hide. What is NASA really trying to hide from us? Are they really trying to hide God or is it for something bigger? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But what is NASA really trying to hide by lying about the shape of the earth and you know, spreading all these lies of UFOs and aliens? Depends on your definition of aliens. Um, absolutely, I believe in life forms on other planets, yes. And I think we might be close to discovering microbial, single-celled life forms, either in current existence or the uh, evidence of past, uh, past existence on Mars, for example. And that's something that we're searching for. We're always searching for organic compounds and the potential for life on other planets. Do you think there's extraterrestrials out there, Al, as well? What? Do you think there's aliens? You know, I've been asked that question hundreds of times. Are there, do you believe in aliens? And I say, yeah. Have you ever seen one? I say, yeah, I have. Well, how have you seen them? Well, I said, I look in the mirror every morning. <laughs> because that's what we are. <laughs> we, we are the aliens, but we just... We, we just we're think just, we're you know, we the just, thing. We just think they're somebody else. But I look in the mirror every morning. <laughs> because that's what we are. <laughs> we, we are the aliens, but... We have seen NASA changed a lot of stuff from what they are telling us. And I have a full playlist of flat earth evidence and proof where I have footage pretty much exposing NASA themselves. And not only that, but even from their own mouths, they say space is fake. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we... Uh, destroyed that technology and it's a painful process to build it back again well I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake honestly <laughs> <laughs> we'd have way better CGI if it was fake um, and you know the, the, the colors all look like kind of weird in space there's no atmospheric occlusion you know you know like everything looks too crisp um, and, um, but we you know we didn't really test any of those materials for, you know, is it space hardened or whatever, you know. So it just has the same seats that like a normal car has. It's just literally a normal car in space. So you didn't test any of the materials in that damn car that Elon Musk sent to space 
I don't know, I think this February, January, I don't I don't really remember, but it was sometime this year. And you're saying they didn't it's just a regular car in space. Didn't test any of the materials. And then that other that other NASA employee says we don't have the technology to do that anymore. Excuse me? So folks, what about aliens and other life forms in Earth? Well, these could only be either from the other side of Antarctica or clone. Mark, are the allegations true that you're secretly a lizard? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard, um, but you know, keep the high quality comments coming in. You need to remind yourself that you need to focus and, um, and try not to let stuff bother you as much as possible. But it is gonna bother you because you're human, and and I was human. I am human still. Um, but um, but it but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. What? What the fuck? Folks, there's also war going on all over the world. Um, on Syria with Russia with the USA. And the Bible speaks of these kind of days, of these days being prophesied and to come in our lifetime. And they have been prophesied so far. And there's still more to come, folks. I do believe we may indeed be going into a World War III soon. Because I don't think we're going to stop war right now. I think we're still continuing to slowly slowly develop into a war soon with whatever country and state but we're going to go in a war soon folks and not only that but in sweden they're trying they're now promoting credit cards with actual chips and getting people to wear this chip in the freaking right hand or whatever right in the wrist which of course if you study the Bible before, if you know anything about it, you'll know that this chip may indeed be the mark of the beast, aka 666, Satan's number, the devil's number, right? Which is all said in the Bible in Revelations, if I can remember, 1317, King James Version, alright? There will be a time where the government will be releasing these chips all over the world and people will accept this chip into the right arm and the leaders of this world, the elites, the Rothschilds, will, will have this chip in their foreheads and this will shall be prophesied. Oh, this is some weird fucking shit right here. I guess this is Prince Harry and his girl. Her face does not move look at that are you fucking kidding me that's not normal bro get out of here so again folks the question still remains is there more than just humans in this world we know we have animals we know we have sea animals Insects, you know, whatever, flying animals, whatever, right? But is there really true evidence of extraterrestrials in Mother Earth? Is there evidence? I mean, we have supposed documents from government agencies back in the 1980s or whatever, talking about UFOs and government aircrafts, and of course, other um, sightings and footage of actual people and subscribers from different YouTubers. So what are they trying to hide, folks? What is the real reason NASA is lying about the shape of the Earth? Why? Why would they do it? They wouldn't just do it for the budget, would they? They wouldn't just be hiding a god. It has to be for a real true reason, a purpose. And this is where I believe the U.S. government or NASA themselves, SpaceX, is actually trying to push this UFO supposed alien agenda to the masses out there, the sleep, the sheepo, so that they can accept alien life and pre and make them believe that our God is a true alien and not an actual 
you know, God or human. If we go and start connecting all the puzzles that we know about UFOs, about alien life, and potentially even reptilians existing in our lifetime right now, we may be able to find the true reason why they're hiding the shape of the earth. And I believe that they're doing so, so they can again make everyone accept alien life and make them believe that our god is an alien and of course for the alien deception get ready cut yes cut get ready hit. yes hit get ready steal yes steal get ready wait yes wait get ready cut yes cut open your book up the lesson 60 on page 153 <laughs> Folks, and we have a bigger, a much more worse problem, and that is, of course, the weather. I've been, I mean, this is honestly my main topic in my channel, but volcanoes are erupting rapidly, and I think even a volcano just erupted somewhere in Japan. I don't have footage, but I've heard from the fake news media that a volcano in Japan has erupted, which is absolutely insane. And also a 6.1 earthquake hit somewhere. I don't, I don't really know where, but I just, you know, saw I guess an article in the morning, but I don't remember in what place that the earthquake hit. But it was a 6.1 earthquake, absolutely brutal. And I also have this footage that that I attached together to make one whole video about it. And my question is. Is there more to chemtrailing? And I've been saying this for the past other videos, if I can remember. Are there, is there more to chemtrailing than what? Than just you know them controlling the weather, poisoning us, mind controlling us, dumping humanity down, right? And also, of course, the acceptance, the acceptance of it in movies, in cartoons, right? Is there more to chemtrailing? Jeez. So we'll see if they turn it completely black to you. And you can see where you really turn it. Oh, well, black yeah, spray is getting to be a DNA, uh, maybe some coal flash, some other shit. And black spray is not uh, meet contrail requirements. Doing what it does best. So those that definitely chemical sun wing spray lines. Double DNA spray. My question to all of you folks watching this video is Are they spraying different compounds in the sky than just aluminum, barium, strontium, sulfuric acid, and whatever else they're spraying? What else could they be spraying at us? There's a lot of different varieties of chemtrailing and a lot of people would say that's because of the sun shining at them. Well, I wonder why regular clouds don't do this. It can't be a coincidence that only these type of clouds pop out because of the chemtrailing and from the planes. It can't be a coincidence that apparently these chemtrailings or these white trails from the planes are be become black afterwards or orange and uh, there's footage of uh, rainbow chemtrails and harp clouds and it can't be a, a coincidence that we're having such havoc weather this is snow that's falling today yeah well, it did. <sighs> all right you see it since one of you know snow it's a burn and not melt you watch it By the way, this stinks, by the way. It's actually burning. I'm sure it stinks, look oh, it at just, it. It is not melting. Like polystyrene. It's not melting, it's burning. That's what all these planes and chemtrails are causing. Not even proper snow. Look, not one drip come off it. Not melting, fresh snow from today. Look. Burn. Joined the Royal Navy uh, in 1960 and I specialised in microwave warfare 
uh, radar, obviously, which uses microwave. But they don't just teach you radar, they teach you all about microwaves and other uses. So I understood about microwave warfare and how it can damage people, how it can harm people. Because microwaves then were used as weapons, as they are today. It is a perfect stealth weapon. And when governments don't like a group of people, for instance, the, the ladies who protest at Greenham Common in England about the American missile base, they camped, they were microwaved. We microwaved Catholics in Northern Ireland to make them sick. Make sure to share this video because it's very important. And hope you guys enjoy this video, folks. Like, share, subscribe. I already said that. And peace.